Okay, the next type of equations are homogeneous differential equations. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, hom homogeneous, sorry. Homogeneous differential equation. And so why are these different? So here's an example. Um, x dy over dx is equal to x plus y. And so you say, okay, let me try to separate this into like an x and a y, and then I can get the dx with the x's and the dy's with the y's. And you discover, you just, so you say, you know, let, let me try to get dy dx alone. So you divide everything by x, and you have dy over dx equals 1 plus x over y. And you just realize that, like, there's no way you're getting x and y, like, alone. There's no way you're getting like like a y term and an x term. Like, you know, y squared plus 1 divided by x, or, you know, x times e to the y. Or, like, that's not happening. So the question is, what do we do? Well, in these cases, what you're going to notice is there's always seems to be a y over x. And the idea is that the homogeneous differential equation is dy over dx in something with like a y over the x. So once you divide out, you're going to see y over x, homogeneous differential equation. Here's the trick. Whenever you're going to let, you're going to, here's the trick. You're going to let y equal vx. What's the x is x. What is v? V is actually a function of x. So when I take the derivative of, D, of this entire, when I do the product rule on this product, it's, you know, it's V derivative of X is 1 plus X dV dX. And that's, sorry, and that's the idea. So, so you're going to take these two expressions and you're going to substitute dy dx and y over x, okay? So, we're going to rewrite this as v plus x over dv over dx equals 1 plus v, and what you will see is that it nicely simplifies to a, uh, a separable differential equation. So we got x dv over dx equals 1, and then we we can separate. We have dv is equal to uh, dx over x, and now we have a v and an x. Take the integral of both sides. So we have v is equal to ln of x plus c. And then the last thing we need to do, let me just check if this is correct. Perfect. The last thing we need to do is go back to the world of y and x. Well, the x is fine here. Let's put the absolute value now. We're fine here. We gotta get that v back to the world of x and y, um, and that's easy. So we take. We know that if y is equal to v x, that means that v is equal to y y over x. And I replace it. We have y over x equals ln of x plus c. Final answer. X, open parentheses, ln of x plus c. Let's try another one. I'm going to give you one now that is kind of cheating a little bit, but the idea is you're going to see the y over x, and you're going to be told to substitute, say, oh, let y equal vx. Erase it. So here's another, here's another example. The equation is um, x dy over dx minus y is equal to x squared sine of x. Now, it's kind of clear that there's no way I'm going to get like, you know, I can divide everything by x, but I'm left with this y over x, and I'm, 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 I can't get y's alone, I can't get x alone. So you say, okay, maybe I'm going to use homogeneous. The question will tell you, use the y equals v x substitution. First thing I'm going to do is first, you know, isolate, isolate um, dy over dx. Can you see all the way over there? Yeah. First, isolate dy over dx. So divide everything by x. And so you have dy over dx equals, I'm 
I'm going to move the y, y over x plus uh, what do we have? Sine of x. Oh, x. Sorry. X sine of x. Nice. Okay. Now we do the substitution. So they sit, they once again they will tell you y equals uh, uh, dx, and you know that dy over dx is equal to uh, v plus x dv over dx. So plug it in. So once again, we're, we know these two things. You're going to plug it in here. So let's rewrite this as v plus x dv over dx equals v plus x sine of x. Once again, this really isn't a function of y over x. It's cheap. I took it out of the Oxford book. But the second you see y over x, you'll know. Well, let's fix this up. Let's see what we can do here. Well, the v's go out, and then the x's go out, and we're left with dv uh, equals sine of x dx. Nice. Once again, after, the, after you start make the, the y equals dx substitution, it works out to a nicely separated uh, function. Well, this is easy. Let's take the integral of both sides. We have v is equal to negative cosine x plus c. Let's take the y. Once again, we said for the last problem, v is equal to y over x. Let's go back to the world of y. So we have y over x equals negative cosine x plus c. Final answer, y is equal to x, open parentheses, negative cosine x plus c. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's try another one. Ready for one more? I am. And obviously you know that, sorry, obviously you know that they're going to throw in like the arctans, the, the uh, integration by part, like be ready for all of that. So let's try another one. How about if we're told that dy over dx is equal to x squared plus xy plus y squared over x squared. Well, you can see the point they're making. You can see that like they're going to look for the xy's. So let's just multiply. Let's, uh, let's, so we get dy over dx equals 1 plus what do we have here? y over x plus y over x squared, because we're anticipating that we're going to be doing the y equals uv sub, uh, vx substitution. Maybe on the, let's take it on the, what, here's my space. Let's take it on the side, because I know what I'm going to be doing. I know that y is going to be vx, and I know that dy over dx is equal to v plus x dv over dx. I keep doing this every time. Yeah, I do it every time. Um, Substitute in here. What do we have? We have v plus x dv over dx equals 1 plus v plus v squared. I see where this is going. I know my v's go out, and so I have x dv dx equals 1 plus v squared, the r tan thing. It shows up, they love it, but it's there. So we have dv over 1 plus v squared. I'm bringing my dv to the other side, but my x comes into the denominator. Now, let's integrate both sides. So we have the arc tan of v is equal to ln of x plus c. Slow down. Take a breath. It looks weird, but it isn't. If the arc tan of v is this, that means v is equal to the tangents of open parentheses ln of absolute value of x plus c. Last but not least, we need to go back to the world of y. So we have y over x equals tangents of ln of x plus c. Final answer, y equals x tangent open parentheses ln of x plus c. Close parentheses. This is your answer. And obviously, we know that there's going to be um, a boundary condition introduced. Um, know your uh, yeah, know your know your values. Know like yeah, 
and then this, this should be easy. But you know, the ln of one is zero, and you'll see it. But you have to know your, you know your, uh, yeah, know your tangent values, know your ln of values, and see when it's like e to the power. Anticipate that's coming. Good.